guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're interested in seeing how I achieve this style, then continue to watch and let's get into it. All right, so you wanna start with freshly washed hair. As you can see, my client has a lot of hair. It's really thick and he has a lot of shrinkage. So I'm gonna go in with my detangler as well as a leave-in conditioner and then I'm going to section his hair into four sections. I'm gonna make sure I run that detangler all through his hair and then I'm going to comb the detangler through his hair and begin to um, blow dry his hair out. And the reason I am blow drying his hair is to A, keep it from being so frizzy, and then the other reason is to give him a little more length. Um, we're just going to put a little tension on there. And um, as you can see, his hair is really long once it's blow dried out. So he has major, major shrinkage. So you wanna make sure you thoroughly blow dry the hair and then once the hair is blow dried, then that's when you wanna start your braiding process. As you can see here, you can see how long his hair is versus how the front of his hair is. So blow drying definitely make a difference with how your braids hang. And you also want to use some type of pomade. I love the Shining Jam to use on my clients when I'm braiding. It does the job and does the job well. Now I'm just going in with um, a fine tooth comb. And I'm going to section the hair the way I want the braids to lay. So you want the braids to lay um, opposite of each other. So you want one the top braids to lay in the middle of the part of the bottom layer of braids. So you just want to make sure when you're sectioning that you section the hair so that it can lay that way. And you don't want to use a lot of the shine and jam, especially if your hair is blow dried, because you don't want it to convert back. So I just used a little, and you just wanna make sure that you take each section of the hair and you braid it as tightly as you can. And that's what I'm doing here. And then I'm just securing it at the very bottom with a rubber band. And that's pretty much it. That's what you're going to do um, on both sides. And just depending on the style that you want, you know how big or how small you know you can make your sections or your parts a lot smaller but my client wanted medium to large size braids so um, we chose to go with this braid pattern and these sections um, but that's pretty much it guys it's what you're gonna do on both sides and you just want to make sure that you stay very consistent with the parting and making sure that the um, braids lay in between the um, bottom layer because you don't want the braids just laying directly on top of each other because then it wouldn't really give you that box look. 
so that's what I'm doing here. But continue to watch and you'll see exactly what I mean. down but it's laying right in the middle of the other two at the bottom that's what you want you want to make sure you section the braids so that it can lay just like that it guys thank you so much for watching please make sure you share comment and subscribe to my channel thank you again have a blessed blessed day guys bye